Slinky likes fish. <laughs> he loves to eat fish. <laughs> Whoa! Dang! That thing's heavy! Okay, you guys, we're at Camp Cannons. We're gonna have a great time. And we're with Slinky, the famous lizard. Yeah. The lizard that literally died in the middle of the night in a super cold. He got out of his box, literally. Frozen poor now. guy, poor guy woke up at 5 a.m. to nothing but the worst day of his life. But oh, it man. worked out. It worked out great, man. It was a crazy experience. But finally, after about two hours of crying and rubbing my lizard, which sounds weird, it actually <laughs> brought him back. <laughs> okay, this is a kid station. Okay, try it again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Two um, hours of rubbing my lizard. <laughs> which sounds weird. <laughs> but that's funny. <laughs> anyway, so for real life, he literally, he literally was like so, looked so dead, slobbered out of his mouth, everything. And guess what? He's going to fish. We, oh, got, no. we got a fisherman. Oh. So, so we're going to feed Slinky. And let me tell you a little story about Slinky. He's a cool Asian water monitor, the coolest one on earth here. I would say. I know you got a few, man, but that's my favorite guy right there. But that being said, whoa, Slinky likes fish. <laughs> he loves to eat fish. <laughs> So he's got to catch the fish, and he caught it. This is not his first rodeo, but let me tell you a story about Slinky. I put a really awesome snake on loan. Oh, man. A diamond this, python. You're going to make me feel bad. No, 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 no. It's all, you know what? This is real life. Look at it, look at Slinky wants to walk off in the sunset. That is hysterical. <laughs> so Slinky literally has been raised. So I've had him now for about... Probably six years I've had Slinky. He came to me at about three foot, and he was living in Atlanta in someone's apartment, but he just started getting too big, and he was knocking down Look the Look Come on, you guys. So here's the deal. This beautiful thing has all been built by Aquascape. It's pretty incredible. And I'm going to show you some cool stuff over there. We're going to fall Slinky. So Slinky literally lives outside in a, in a completely safe enclosure, and the only reason why that thing happened was he had unhooked the latch unknowingly and came out in the middle of the night so he wasn't in his warm spot on one of the coldest days of the year. Right. And that's how all that happened. Degrees. Right. Yeah. So he's literally like, this is almost like Asia. It's not quite warm enough, so he needs that extra heat to survive here in Florida. So that being said, he literally almost died, but he made it. So his K is his enclosure was next to diamond pythons that were living in an enclosure just like this. And they were doing great. And I, so I, he had a female, so we put a male in with him. And uh, my, uh, so anyway, we shipped him over. Unfortunately, the wire had one little spot where it got stretched and that diamond python got through and Slinky ate him. Now, he wondered if Slinky ate him. So oh, what did dude. you do? So, so, so you, went I, to the, you actually took him to the vet. I went to my friends at Bush Wildlife. They have a hospital with an amazing, uh, full uh you know x-ray suite and we x-rayed slinky and sure enough there was absolutely a snake skeleton or the the vertebrae of a snake in there so that's what happened by the way um some of you may be worried about slinky's mouthful right here but jay you can tell them oh, this guy's got no issues let me tell you this is what he would eat in the wild obviously now that being said i fed mine a salmon head which he would never find in the wild and it was so big i got a little nervous in my video but you know what? He ate the whole salmon head, which was three times that girth, and was perfectly fine. Because you know what? A monitor like this in the wild finds whatever he has to, and he gets it down. And you can see already, boom, he dropped it right there, restarted, and it's been less than a minute, and he's got that, he's gonna get slinky go. The other cool thing is these guys are so intelligent, they know the way to eat the, Absolutely. the fish. If he ate it the other way, it wouldn't have slid down because the spines would have gone. Oh, there it goes. Look at this, no problem. Not even an issue. Awesome. So anyway, we're gonna see some really cool animals here. I think we're gonna go for a swim and show them some oh, yeah. insanely giant tor turtles. Yeah, we're what gonna go. Called? We're gonna go in the back pond and we're gonna pull out some really big, beautiful Asian turtles that I think you guys. Wait till you guys, you guys check this it. out. You will not believe how cool they are. Okay, here's the pond, but I interrupt this video to go see what's under this board. If you guys have been following, then you know what I'm gonna flip a board for. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wow. Wow. Man, that's a perfect snake board. Okay, let's go jump in this water. 
Is there one end that's better than the other? Oh, you can still, why don't we start in the shallow end and we'll work our way this way. So we're gonna literally have to scour this for these amazing animals. And uh, hopefully there's no common snappers in there, but I'm gonna leave my shoes on. Cause you know what? Oh, I like my fingers. There's no way they're over there cause they're too big, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was gonna do it in my tennis shoes. This is a different experience. I mean, than the, uh, Oh, much okay, different I took my experience. wallet out. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I got something. I got something. Check this out, you guys. Oh, cool. Check this out. <laughs> Is that amazing or what? Look at that. Whoa, Man. Whoa, 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 I got whoa, something whoa. else. There it goes. Hold on. I got the whoa. Thing. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. Is that crazy? Look at this. So. Tell us about these crazy uh, things. These are really cool turtles. These are called the river terrapin or the royal terrapin. They're from Southeast Asia, Badiger, a finis. And they're highly endangered. And these actually came from a couple uh, of zoos, San Diego Zoo and Dallas Zoo, because they were getting problems with their skin, bud. And check it out. So this muddy water is just like you guys. When you go get a mud bath, it helps your skin. Well, guess what? These ones are perfect now, and hopefully they'll start breeding here soon. Oh, I've already seen some nest uh, test nests being done. These females can get upwards of 100 pounds. How many pounds, how many oh. of those are there? Uh, there's only one female in here and two males, but there's also That's another. That's the female. This is the female. Wow. But there's still more turtles in here. There's another species that I think you guys are gonna love to see. Okay, let's see what else we catch. Right. Come on, guys. Oh, isn't that Look cool? At that. I gotta see this yeah, one. Yeah, you got it. I gotta see this one. Whoa! Dang! That thing's heavy! <laughs> Whoa! Man, that is so cool! There's only one problem! I can't move! <laughs> We're stuck in the mud! That's why I like to scoot on you the You ever heard of being a stick in the mud? That's because this stick can't move! <laughs> oh! Okay, there we go. Oh, my uh, oh wait. I he's ahead something. of me. I got something. It's the other male. Oh! Oh, they want a fish! I just had a fish, oh, there's fish in here too. Okay. Look at how pretty the eyes are on these guys though. Have you is ever it, seen anything? That is a cool a shape of a shell. Oh. All right. Now we might wind up catching the same turtle. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna smell like, you know what? Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, man, that is a leg workout. Don't do this on leg day, all you guys and girls that take care of your, keep yourself in great shape. You ready for something really cool? Oh, it's a fly river. Uh, Is that awesome or what? That's uh, why he had to dive at it. Check this out. So these are from Asia and they're absolutely incredible. They look like a sea turtle. They're, they're a threatened species, but not endangered yet. Hopefully they never will be. But uh, they are absolutely incredible. They're also called a pig nose turtle because of that pig nose. But look at that, they literally have floppers. Floppers. Floppers? <laughs> <laughs> they literally got like, Flippers. what's, a good, what's better than one? How about two? <laughs> <laughs> look at the size oh. of that one. Oh, they're gorgeous, Is eh? that incredible? So they're yeah. absolutely beautiful. They literally got flippers for swimming. They got those big nails for, I'm not sure, what are the big nails well, for? Well, it's really good, yes, you notice that. You see these toenails? They're, some people thought they were vestigial, but what they use is they eat a lot of fruit and they can actually rip open the fruit so they can make it into smaller chunks Just that like they can the swallow. big galops and El Dabbers That's right. use their front foot for that. That is about the biggest one I've ever seen. Isn't that beautiful? Is that incredible? That's a big female or what? Yeah, uh, actually these are both males. Both and males. The other cool thing is, you know, we were talking about skin problems. These guys can sometimes get skin problems and where I find them all the time here, they're burrowed in the mud. So that's part of their behavior. They rust a lot in the mud, and then at night, they're a little bit more I gotta get. I'm gonna get one of these males for my zoo at some point. Beautiful animal though, really beautiful. Definitely an animal I have to have. When we get the bigger aquarium, we're gonna let him go awesome. and let him go. Man, how big do, do the females get bigger or smaller? Uh, you know what, they're gonna get around the same size actually. Wow, that is big. Pretty that good stuff. Incredible. So is that about it for the pond? That's it, man. That's, that's all that's in here that I know. I think we don't want to find anybody else because if we find anybody else, he'll have a big chopper on him. <laughs> exactly. 